Hi guys, it's Titan Sage. We got another video, a developer gameplay commentary video, and in this one they give some new info about the game, and I'm going to cover it. So the most important thing is the state of the game's development, and for that I'll just roll the clip. Exactly, and so I want to say that we have a great uh, start, a good especially toolbox, like it's always hard in game development to get all the systems in place so you can actually start uh, building the world because that needs a lot of fine tuning and uh, yeah, the systems need to work together and everything and I think we are in a very good state regarding that. Um, and as Balin said, we all are already... So what I am reading between the lines here is that the game is in a very good spot right now because they already figured out the core game mechanics such as items, monster classes, hero mechanics, physics and so on, abilities, stats. And now they did all the basically hard work and now they can build the world and have a field day building everything and having a good eye for detail and crafting an awesome world. That's how I interpret this. The second most important thing is that the early access, which will come out this winter, will be extended. There will be updates for this early access. You don't have to sit on the 12 hours of the initial gameplay, but it will be extended, there will be more items, more loot, more monsters, more masteries possibly, and so on. So um, it will be expanded bit by bit, which is very awesome. In my previous video, I explained that the game really needs an auto pickup, because it was tedious to pick up every little one piece of gold. And in this video, the developers confirm that there will be an auto pickup button to pick up gold at least which is really cool and the game really needs this. And here the developers are talking about different weapons and Florian says that every weapon has an area of effect, which sounds pretty cool. I mean, if you take a big axe, it has a bigger AOE, opposed to as when you have a dagger, this one should have a very small area of effect. It sounds pretty cool, I don't know, maybe with the bow you can hit multiple targets if they stand close enough, or I don't know. We will see. Let's talk about damage conversion. So there are some skill modifiers that say 100% physical damage is converted to lightning damage, for example. And this damage conversion, the developers say this one will be visible on the weapon and on the player. For example, if 100% damage is converted to lightning damage, then you see some uh, lightning on the weapon itself. And at the same time, here, we see a new monster infrequent, and this one has inherent poison damage. And you see the damage actually on the weapon. And I really love this kind of thing. It's so awesome. Yeah, love it. Okay, next up we got the character inventory window and there are some nice uh, stats which I explained. And here in the advanced window we see some important information. When it comes to the defensive stats it becomes pretty clear uh, what strike armor is. In the earlier videos I asked myself what should this mean. Strike armor obviously is your armor for physical attacks and the pierce armor is for the arm your armor for piercing damage. It gets really interesting when we see the resistances because this means um, they explain the damage types that there are in the game. We got the basic elemental damage, fire, cold and lightning, also poison which is a staple in every ARPG. Now we got a new thing which is divine damage. Yeah, it seems pretty clear that the bosses and maybe hero type monsters have divine damage. Okay, then there's stuns, bleeding, that's the table too. Glancing blow, I guess this means that you hit another target with one swing. Not just the initial target, but another target standing beside it. Okay, it goes on with the damage 
get the player deals. And here it's separated. Thermic damage being hot and cold, so fire and cold damage, natural damage, lightning and poison, which is a nice touch. And we also, the most important thing here is base factor resolve for thermic damage. So your value for resolve in the stats scales the fire and cold damage. That's pretty cool. It's not just intelligence or here knowledge that scales all the elemental damage. Yeah, but here it's a little different. Okay, here it gets super interesting. The new damage type is spirit damage. Sounds cool. Vitality drain, which is basically life leech, and energy drain, vice versa, for energy. Pretty cool. I already like this. Okay, next up we got the topic of player deaths. And in my earlier video I already explained most of it, but here they drop a new piece of information. So I'm repeating myself, death. so when you die in this game, you can teleport back to the exact spot where you died and the encounter gets reset. So that's old news. And the new thing is that you lose a little XP for every death. And they are figuring out a system on how to get a little of the XP back. In the old game there was a gravestone dropped at your location of death and you could go back there tediously and recover it. Click on it and you got little XP back. They are still figuring out a way. Okay, and here we see that they included pants in the game. I guess this type of armor is for obviously for the leg type and I have a feeling that this one is for mages and or some agility heroes, I don't know. We will see, but they included pants, which is pretty cool. Okay, this is it for this video. I know in my earlier video I said I like the more realistic look of the world and so on. And now in this video the developers say we go for a very bright world and so on. I guess this means opposed to the other games such as Path of Exile, Path of Exile 2, the new one or the new Diablo. And because these two are a little more dark, you walk through desolate wastelands and creepy dark places. Yeah, and Titan Quest 2 is opposed to that. You walk through sunny beaches and nice lit up caves and so on, which is brighter. But I think it's more realistic because if you take a walk in the outside world, then yeah, the world there is pretty bright too. So yeah, it's real. It's more realistic. So guys, will you buy the early access? Write me your opinion down in the comments. I know I will buy it, especially because now they confirmed that there will be updates in content. So I'm really looking forward to it. Also, the game seems to be in a really good spot because the core mechanics seem to be figured out and they really can focus on building the world now. So yeah, I'm optimistic for a um, good release on the game. Thank you very much for watching and see you guys in the next one.